So if you want to talk about longevity, let's not talk about politics because it's making me age faster. It's making me age before my time. <laughs> no, I got to tell you the truth. I started in radio when I was rather older. I, it was my fourth or fifth career. I've had many other distinguished careers in my life. And uh, I got into radio rather late in life. I was a certain age. I figured, look, I would drop dead on the air. It was it would be worth it to me. I enjoyed it so much. I always knew I'd be national. I knew I'd be a big hit when I was local, and I was blocked by the fools who ran the local station or no longer in the business. One of the clowns now is hiding in a, I think he's working as a masseur somewhere in Hawaii, and the other clown is hiding in Lake Tahoe working as a, uh, a, a dock boy docking boats. Both of them tried to stand in my way, these people. But even then, when I started in radio, I, I said I'd know that I'd be in the top three, which I've been. But now I know I'm going to be number two or number one, God willing. But I also had a chance uh, of dying along the way because this is the most stressful thing I've ever done in my entire life. Nothing compares to the stress of talk radio, and yet I'm not dead. I eat bad Chinese food on Tuesdays, lipstick together. If the lipstick together from the Hunan food... It means the arteries are getting clogged, right? Wrong, not necessarily. Because the chili oil that you take with the lipstick, uh, the lipsticking uh, uh, component, probably dissolves, I don't know, the lipsticking inside the arteries. Or I inherited my mother's uh, genes. Who knows? At this point, it's mysterious. For 40 years, I was the preacher of vitamins, nutrition, herbs, garlic, wrote books on it, and I really followed it religiously. Maybe that had an effect, and it's one of the reasons. Or maybe there's a genetic factor. Or maybe somebody up there likes me. I don't know the answer at this point, because I think that longevity has a lot to do with genetics. Certainly diet. It can't all be lifestyle. Because by lifestyle, I should have been dead at five, between the ages of five and eight. Now, I'm not trying to use a, a reductio ad absurdum argument just to get your attention, but honest to God, there's no rational explanation as to why I, Michael Savage, am still living. From a, a patrilineal descent, should have been dead already. So I, I don't have the, I don't know. It's mysterious. I mean, PhD, epidemiology, nutrition. I've searched the world for the answers to longevity. That's why I'm doing the show today.